Hola chicos y chicas, ¿qué tal? Yo soy Miguel, bienvenidos un día más a mi canal y a un nuevo vídeo de Sea of Thieves. Vamos con el último capítulo de las nuevas Tall Tales de Piratas del Caribe, llamada Los Señores del Mar. En esta ocasión prácticamente no voy a comentar casi nada porque hay mucha acción en esta tale y no tiene mucha exploración. Aunque sí que he subido la ubicación de los diarios en este vídeo porque no hacía falta hacer otro, ya que es todo muy lineal y se encuentran muy fácil. Así que chicos, a disfrutar la tail. Jack, you're a slightly ethereal sight for sore eyes. Still, I can't help noticing a particular trinket is somewhat conspicuous by its absence. Why? That's because Jones and his new friends still have it. Seems he used it in some sort of ritual before escaping back to the Dutchman. Extremely ungentlemanly behavior of which I heartily disapprove. Hmm. With the treasure's power in him clutches, David Jones and the Dark Brethren can move freely between worlds. They plan to sail to the Sea of the Dams just as you did, to take it over and destroy the ferryman. And if that happens, only pirates who swear an oath to Jones will be allowed back from the land of the dead. But that means he control everything. It'll be the end of this place for sure. And what are we supposed to do about all this? Jones has a whole fleet now, and we don't even have a ship. Well, I for one intend to get my treasure back, even if I have to swim for it. Fortuitously, there's a speedier alternative available. You, I'm commandeering your vessel and all who sail aboard her for essential pirate business. Besides, you've got as much of a score to settle with Jones as I. Ay, it may be a lost cause, but if anyone can win a fight for pirates, it'll be Sea of Thieves pirates. Ah, still, there's a might bit of ocean to cover, and we've only one ship. Where would we start? The doorway to the Sea of the Damned was opened from this world, and now it must be closed the same way. But to find it, we need something special. Something touched by the hand of David Jones. But we ain't got nothing what belongs to Jones. I saved yours in our pockets, that is. Wrong. I have something. Thought I might use it to open up a coconut. Well, now that we have our heading, it's time we set sail. Meet me in your ship's cabin, where I shall be hard at work strategizing a strategy. And then forth we shall sally. Sally? Aye, and we'll see if we can't muster up some help at the outpost. Good fortune, and a fair wind to us all. This is the last chance to stop Davy Jones. If we do not put an end to the Dark Brethren, the light of freedom will vanish from this world forever. Listen, mate. I've been thinking about what Sia Dorma said that the door Jones opened can only be closed from this side. That's true. He'll not have left it unguarded. Now, I'm a man very much accustomed to thinking on his feet. But even I'm inclined to stock up on provisions before we sail to almost certain death. Plenty of planks, cannonballs, that sort of thing. Best not to head into battle empty-handed. It never occurred to me this might be a place to walk. 
Gibbs is right. Pirates here demons. They don't just fight for gold and power. They fight for freedom to choose. And that's the freedom no one can ever be allowed to take away. Oh, I see. Sentimental sort, eh? Well, enough of that. We have a war to win and a sea to save. Far be it for me to doubt the wisdom of the sea goddess, but are we absolutely certain that this is the right cloud? Frankly, I don't think it looks much like Janus. You're too late, Jack Sparrow! Though, on reflection, I suppose there is a passing resemblance. Not to take the obvious, but it appears those watery witches have returned to lend Jones their power. And who have we here? Forgotten sailors? Forsaken by the ferryman? And marooned back in the Sea of the Damned? They pledged their allegiance to me? And I promised them dominion over the world of the living. They will defend the spire until my work is done. You always was a persuasive spirit. Ready the cannons! Let it be shunned. They serve the Brethren cause. But all you know is about to end. Tomorrow! 
You, Bosun, put that fishing rod down and get to work. And splash some water on the crew. We're about to Cling to life, but you're still no closer to my new realm. End this madness, David Jones. Remember who you were. Calypso! This is a new world, David Jones. You are bound to no order than these waters. The flying Dutchman need not chain you here. I knew you as a pirate. A man who was not afraid of him or not. Out here, that man can live again. Come back to me. I... No. The point of no return is long since after. We are at war. Wars do not end with weapons. They end with words. I call for parley, David Jones. Ah, ah, parley? According to the code set down by Morgan and Bartholomew, do you know, see, my sweet Calypso? You cannot invoke the right of Pali, because, my dear, you are not a pirate. You are a monster. As am I. Then the man I love is truly dead. No. Uh. And no one shall be left to mourn his passing. Do you see where your courage has led you, Jack Sparrow? You and your friends shall die here at home. Two issues, mate. One, our heavens will already be dead. And two... Captain Jack Sparrow and his friends are not alone. The captains of the damned have heard your call, Calypso, and are prepared to heed it. We shall sail together! And we shall never bow to tyrants, no matter how powerful they may be. Especially not when they stink like a dead squid. We're coming for you, Jones! Form up behind the Black Pearl! It's time we showed this dark brethren what it really means to be a pirate. Just a moment. As leader of this motley alliance, facing an enemy of unimaginable power, I feel it incumbent upon me to deliver some sort of inspiring speech. <coughs>
corrupted. Now you have the chance to enter the spire and find what is giving David Jones him power. Nos los hemos ido encontrando y nos hemos saltado uno. Tiro ancla, te por culo. No, aquí no, es adentro. Did you think I left my spire unprotected? We'll be fine, mate. Just get inside that spire. That spire is the source of James's power. What say you destroy it? That awaits you in my spire is sad and dark. Brethren know they face extinction. All that remains is for them to decide where they make their final stand.
Davy Jones, I know where your heart truly lies. It's just good business. Run! To your ship before the spire collapses back where it belongs! She may be. The Dutchman is still a strongest ship on sea. She still has a combat. It gives you such strength now. Do you still not recognize the true nature of their power, David Jones? They've made no eternal bargain. It's not a siren song or a precious treasure. It's love. Love for freedom. A love no bleed can cover. I will not end like that. I will not be defeated. Not by a treacherous sea hag. Not by a wretched sentimental pack of pirates. But never, never by Jack Sparrow!
Gibbs, I see you've salvaged the pearl. Excellent work. Aye, well, it was mostly the doing of the merfolk, truth be told. They're quite marvelous creatures here. Oh, well then, I'll take my compliment back. Prepare to make sail, you lazy wretches. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, what happened to Jones? And what about the treasure we was after? And why is the captain still dead? Young man, I believe your questions are about to be quite conclusively answered. Fear not the wrath of Davy Jones. He's my prisoner now. And bound to the very vessel he sought to destroy. A fitting fate. With the Dark Brethren scattered and their ambitions at an end, I believe it is now safe to return this treasure to the hands of one who died defending it. I have weighed the worth of a million souls, and yet I misjudged you, Jack Sparrow, and acted rashly. Such was my desire to prevent calamity. You captains of the damned have shown great courage and deserve a second chance at a pirate's life. That's better. And all the best bits seem to be in the right places. Well, I've just got my ship back, and we've just rescued everyone from certain doom. I'd say that entitles us to public adoration, free refreshments, and some grand adventures out and about on this freshly saved Sea of Thieves. Where do we start? Remember, Jack. You made her a promise. Ah, I'm afraid Theodore was correct. I have some unfinished business that must, unfortunately, take precedent over any revelry in the immediate futurity. Be that as it may, Jack, we're still a bit short-handed. Excellent point. Our next destination lies beyond the horizon. Any pirates, formerly deceased or otherwise, who wish to throw themselves headlong into grand fun, battling unknown perils, are welcome to join the crew of the Black Pearl. That's a tempting offer, Captain, but my place is here. Protecting the Sea of Thieves from the likes of Davy Jones and the Dark Brethren. I will take my leave of you. My crew and I, likewise, have promises that remain unfulfilled. Now that we're back on the seas, it's time to make amends. Safe journey, Captain. Whatever your destination may be. Well, I'm not missing out on fighting unknown dangers in distant lands. Sign me up. Me too. As if I'd let you sail off without me. I suppose you and I should part ways for now. After all, someone needs to stay and keep this place lively for me till I return, eh? And trust me, I will return, mate. Or my name isn't. Well, you know the rest. Look lively, you lot! We've got a horizon to cross! Get that anchor raised! Hands to braces! And someone, please, strike up a tune. Clear the way, anchor, Mr. Scrum, as soon as the last of our guests has departed. Time to get back to your own ship now, Savvy. I want to see my face in those railings. Gibbs, there appears to be a dead fish somewhere in my cabin. 
Why does it always smell like that? Time to get back to your own ship now. Savvy? Pues hasta aquí llegado el vídeo, muchísimas gracias por verlo, suscríbete al canal si no lo estás y nos vemos en el siguiente vídeo. Chao, chao.